What's up guys, it's your boy coming back with a hot new video. This video, we're going to talk about how much this overpriced dinosaur cost me to run. What is my maintenance fee on this truck? I got to be going broke. But we're going to dig into it. I, I, I guess I gotta buy a new truck and you're gonna find out why right now What's up guys, it's your boy. I'm back heartbroken upset I don't know what to do with this truck. So this truck is not doing what it's supposed to do. It's not eating me alive. It costs me about $500 a month to maintain this 2008 234 35 861 mile dinosaur. Why? Because I use my hands. Because I catch the problems when they arise. Probably 70% of the problems with these trucks start as small problems. When your check engine light comes on, you stop. In the name of... No. Nah. But you stop. You fix it. You diagnose it. You maintain it. This truck needs to be number uno the most important thing in your life so what does it cost me a month it's about 500 and i usually have extra money with 500 guys okay, so okay i buy 10 jugs of oil 139 dollars okay because they're 13.99 a piece and then two oil filters let's call it 50 bucks and then I got two fuel filters that I buy every month. It's another 100. So I got 130, that's called 150. So then we got 250. And then we've got another 50. So that's 300 bucks for my oil, my oil filters and my fuel filters. That's my regular maintenance. Now I check, I go over my brakes and all that, but that stuff doesn't get replaced every single month. So. The price to maintain, let's average it 600 bucks. And that is for the months that I have to do the CCV filters, the air filters, stuff like that. It all averages out. It costs me about six grand a year to maintain the truck. That's not repairs, that's maintenance. It's a lot less than a truck note. And after two years, you're doing the same thing with a truck note. And I usually do my oil changes right around like 15,000 miles before you guys say, oh, you're going to blow it up. I've had an oil sample done. It, it's good. It's Gucci. Gucci. Okay. So I use the right oil. I know what I'm doing sometimes. And that's about the extent of my maintenance. Now, this month is going to be a little bit higher. Because I just put six tires on it for 700 bucks. Look for the deals. Look for the deals. I got a good deal on takeoffs for it. Brand new tires. My man's hooked me up. I appreciate you. Thank you. You know who you be. Um, so, guys, these older trucks, they're not the doom of business. Most people that start trucking do not have brand new trucks. Going 75, 80, 90 thousand dollars in debt for something that you don't even know if you like is a scary situation. And I don't know if it would be the smartest. Now I know I have subscribers that did that and I'm not talking bad about you guys. To each their own. But to me, because I know how to maintain a truck, I work on it myself, it's not 
that bit. So I put a hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars a week back for maintenance. So I usually have about a thousand dollars a month, you know, eight fifty to a thousand. It all depends. Now some months, like when I have a five grand week, I throw four or five grand into the maintenance fund. Not the business account, the maintenance fund. So I'm making the same truck payment. Since a little bit cheaper, but I'm making a truck payment. But I have options. You know, so let's say now I could buy a motor for this truck for fifty five hundred bucks. Transmission rebuilt's actually more than the engine, the motor. Um engine, motor, engine, motor. What I got both. I got both. So the money that I put into the maintenance account just sits there for when I need it, for when a rear goes, for when the valve covers go, for when the injectors go. And it's no different than what you guys will be doing in a couple years. You have a three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. You have a five year, 100,000 mile powertrain. Maybe extended to 200. That's two years. So, after two years, you're going to be paying 1,500, 1,000, whatever your payment is a month, plus the maintenance. Now, if you're buying a new truck and you're disciplined enough, enough not your plan is, but you're disciplined enough to pay $2,000 a month and know you're going to do it, that's a different story and you're an exception. So, there's nothing wrong with a used truck. Nothing. But you buy a truck you can afford to maintain. And you buy a truck that you can afford to pay for and maintain. I mean, not everybody can, you know, I paid... I took a loan out on this and I paid it off in four months. $20,000 in four months. Now I had some money saved up that I threw down and just boom, 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 boom. So it's your priority needs to be lowering your cost. Lowering your fixed cost. A truck payment is a fixed cost. So, I can essentially sit here for a whole week and not lose any money. Would I? No. But what if? So, I, I know, new versus used, buy versus lease, blah, blah, blah. Now, a lot of the guys that lease... And there, there's some good guys at least. I'm not going to say they're not, but they either don't know how to maintain it, which is fine. And I don't mean don't know how. I mean, like, physically can't work on it. And if you're going to pay somebody to work on these trucks, you, you, you might want to get the main, get the new truck and just save, 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 save. Because that's expensive. Um, you know, but you got YouTube. YouTube, baby. You got YouTube. YouTube will teach you how to do everything. It even start teach you how to start a business. So, guys, these used trucks are not a bottomless pit. Now, you got to buy the right one. You got to know what you're doing. But they're not a bottomless pit. It's okay to buy a used truck. Just make sure you buy the right use truck. Make sure somebody that you know or a mechanic goes with you. Give them a hundred bucks to go with you. You giving them a hundred bucks may save you tens of thousands and headaches and downtime. I mean, in this, in the world we live in today, you pay for expertise. You pay for the training, you pay for knowledge. And that's what you're doing there.
So, me, I like my used trucks. I don't want all my emissions nonsense on here. I just, just cool with what I got. So, don't think that a new truck is your only option. Because in two to three years, that 84 month uh, payment you just took out, you barely put a dent in it in two years. When you buy a new truck, you need to plan on having it for four to five. So you might as well start banking money for a new engine. Because you cannot get out of your new truck like I can get out of my truck. It's just not that simple. So, just wanted to let you all know, it ain't all doom and gloom, baby. Used trucks are okay if you know what you're doing. So, with that being said, like, share, and subscribe, and hit that ding ding. Hit it, hit it, hit it. He said hit the ding ding. Oh, he's hitting that ding ding. Oh. Even he hits the ding ding. Can you hit the ding ding? Alright guys. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the ding ding. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.